back to receive Victor Langley at the top of your screen. And at the bottom of your screen, it'll be Tim Spencer. We should tell you that Ohio State going into this one is 2-0. They knocked off Duke 34-13, and they defeated Michigan State playing in spurts at a score of 27-13. It'll be taken in the end zone and down. In motion, that's Williams. They test the middle of the line, and it is Tim Spencer. William Roberts, Davis Medich, Jim DeLeon, their great All-American prospect, Joe Lukens and Joe Smith. And again, third down and five for Ohio State. We have not seen a pass yet. Sleister goes back to throw it. Goes to the secondary receiver. It is complete for the first down at the 41-yard line. Oh, you don't see it today. Looking great. The pitch out goes back to the big guy, Tim Spencer, the tailback at the 50 to the 45 and down to the 40, still going. He rolls down to the 31-yard line. And the play covered a total of 12 yards. Trying the right side of the line and going nowhere is Tim Spencer. Up there on the 31-yard line of Stanford, no score in the game. First quarter, Spencer being rushed, throws it into the dirt, into the ground, left inside linebacker. The defensive alignment for the Stanford Cardinals. It'll be third and ten. Another passing situation. The slot back on the right side is Williams. Sleacher's hit. Sleacher's fell to the 41-yard line. A blitz on the play coming through. In a punting situation, Gary Alders will drop back. He is also a quarterback. He's averaging 33 and a half, and he gets it high, and it sails into the end zone. It'll be first and ten for Stanford. John Elway, number seven. John Elway, the man to watch. Darren Nelson, who has not played well yet this year, will be in the backfield, the halfback. The fullback is scheduled to be Rob Moore, number 33. Stanford takes over on the 20-yard line. The quarterback is Elway. The lone back is Darren Nelson. First and 10. They go to the ground and try the left side. He's at the 25, goes to the 30. Up to the 35, and out of bounds he goes at the 37-yard line. Mike Conover. Out wide to the right side, Jim Clymer. Now in motion, Clymer. That is Elway with a handoff. Is going nowhere. It'll be second down and 11 yards, a passing situation coming up. Wide to the left, the freshman, Emil Harry. Watch him, he's a good one. Elway looks to his right, in motion again. Tolliver this time. A play action pass. It is complete. Complete to the 40. Out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Hit immediately and at the 40-yard line. What a hit by Nick Miller. Cisco with an average of seven yards on returns. He almost gets it blocked. It lands at the 30, bounces high, and it is covered well by the special teams of Stanford. They get a Stanford roll down to the 14-yard line. The handoff goes to the big running back who cracks into the secondary past the 20. This time it is Spencer. Spencer bounces off one tackle, goes for four to the 29. Williams wide to the right side. Anderson in the slot next to him on the left. They stick it on the ground again and go off right tackles. Ohio State trying to go to the first down. The pitch on the left side. Up past the 40, he's got the first down. And Spencer so far, six carries, 43 yards. Good call on the part of Irv Brown. Up the middle, Spencer goes nowhere. And a 10. <laughs> That's Leister. It'll be complete down at the 35 yard line. Ohio State driving at the 35. No score, first quarter. The handoff to Spencer. He tries right tackle, gets a hard three yards. He was a fullback a year ago. Now he's a uh, tailback. Spencer does the 40 and 4 3. There are markers all over the place. Sleister throws. It's a wobbly duck and out of bounds. Illegal Both procedure. Intense. The There's the a call by Charlie Moffitt. Third down. Now it'll be a third down and seven. Sleister looks to the left. Pumps once. He's hit and dropped, and he fumbles the ball, but I think he got it back. Do the punting will be number nine, Gary Alders. A fair catch call for to try and bluff it, but he doesn't bluff anybody. It's going to die at the one, or did it get in? Did he touch it? Dropping back in the I formation, that is Darren Nelson. Elway, a little flare pass out to Nelson. He's got everybody around him, fights his way past the 20. 
And Emil Harry comes to the right side. Out wide to the left side, Mike Tolliver. Cracking off is Nelson. He's at the 30, the 35, the 40, goes to the 45-yard line. A fine athlete, career touchdowns. He's got 24. Carried three times Nelson, and he's gone for 38 yards already. A good start, first and 10 at the 40 of the Cardinals. Elway with a quick slant pass. Tremendous catch at the 50-yard line. At Doug Hill defending on the play. The split backs. The man on the right side carrying it is White. Vincent tries to turn the corner. He gets it at the 45 to 40. Down to the 35 to the 30 and out of bounds. He goes at the 34-yard line. Stanford's first opportunity to challenge. They're at the 29 of the Buckeyes. Elway with a deep drop. A lot of time. Flips it out to Nelson and he's belted just as he catches it. We have a second down and about 14 yards to go and out of bounds. Shy of the first down of the... Let's see what he does here. He has a third down and three. The setback left is Nelson. That's Nelson with it. Looks for a block. Gets an excellent block at the 20-yard line. He steps out of bounds, but he got a great block. There are no score in the game. Elway looks a lot of time, and it's going to be intercepted. And it's dropped. Oh, intercepted and dropped. Complete. Let's see if Elway continues to have time. He goes to the ground. Nelson is the slot back on the left. Out on the right side, number 26, Mike Tolliver. We're in a third down and nine situation. He flips it out to Nelson. He's got it at the 11. One man to beat, and he cannot beat him. The man with an arm tackle. It'll be a 25-yard field goal attempt. The man who will hold it will be Steve Cottrell. Cottrell has the good snap. It's high enough. It is deep enough. It is good. Stanford leads in the football game three to nothing with a minute and 54 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. That is Sleister looking down. Out over the middle, he's got a man all alone, and he couldn't get up with it. I think he spooked it off the ground. Williams goes out wide to the right. Anderson out wide to the left. Sleister looks at him, throws out over the middle. He's got a man. That's Williams. He's got it at the 30. He gets one great block, goes to the 25 and the 20, and out of bounds he goes. A tremendous block. Mike will be able to listen. It goes against... Ohio State and right about there's no penalty no penalty we're hearing that right there is Gale as he drills two of them there is no penalty so uh, Charlie Moffat has uh, talked it over with the officials and that's Spencer in the backfield that is Gale with it is hit and spilled after he goes for two yards Stanford leading defense three nothing offside first down wide left is Williams out wide to the right on an audible is Anderson that is Spencer trying the right side. So it's second down and a yard to go. Sleister brings him out. Ohio State down three to nothing. Spencer hit and spill with a great defensive move by number 86. Capable of rolling out with the thing after sticking in the belly. I think he gets the first down. He does. He's down to the four yard line. In motion is Williams. They go to the strong side. And down to the four yard line. The tight end of the right is Frank. That is Sleister. He fakes and he keeps it. He tries the middle. He doesn't get it. Watch him on a pitch wide left or right. He goes for right tackle. Cracks to the one. Touchdown. Touchdown. You go to what's good for you, and that's Lukens and Smith on that right side. they got a replacement in for Rodgers, and that's not to uh, be derogative uh, for the young man who took his spot, Mike Wyman, but that's a good uh, block and do on that right. Ohio State goes to the lead, and the try after is up, and the try after by Bob Atha is good. California for this 1981 matchup between the Stanford Cardinals and the Ohio State Buckeyes. Ten. Wide to the right side, Tolliver. At the 25 and out of bounds. Stanford in maroon. Marcus Merrick may have been the guilty man. First down now for Stanford. Moving past the 45 yard line. Tolliver wide to the left side. A good hit at the line of scrimmage by number 55, Jerome Foster. Third down and two. Stanford with it. At the 49 of the Buckeyes. Elway with a hand off the right. He's got the first down. Harry wide to the right. Tolliver out to the left. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Nelson gets a very hard one yard. They go to the nickel defense with a second and nine for Ohio State. They got five defensive backs that are anticipating the pass. The handoff, though, goes up the middle for very short yardage. Again, the freshman Harry wide to the right. Out to the left side is Mike Tolliver. In motion is Nelson. Elway, will he have time to throw? Gets tremendous pressure. 
but he gets tremendous blocking out of bounds. It is complete with a fantastic catch by Nelson. A 25-yard pass play. Wide to the left is Tolliver. Wide to the right side is Harry. The setbacks on the left side. Moore, the handoff to Nelson. Nelson looks for the block, doesn't get it, and down he goes. An excellent hit. Now Harry goes in and splits off on the line to the left, and Tolliver goes to the right side with double coverage there. Elway looks, sees the double coverage, comes back looking to the left. Great protection, it throws incomplete. Wide to the left, Harry. Wide to the right, Tolliver. Elway, the quarterback. The blitz is on, and he gets it away when he's hit. It is incomplete. What a tremendous attempt. It's high enough. It's long enough. It's good. Now Stanford comes bouncing back. They trail by one. With seven minutes and 19 seconds left in the first half of play, to his left on the top of your screen, Spencer averages 19 yards. It goes toward Spencer. He drops it at the one. Picks it up, and he's going to run it. Goes to the five. Comes up with a 10-yard line. And perhaps a wise move. John Elway. Everyone watching those statistics, but it's a 7-6 game. Ohio State leading. He's going to go to the air. He throws the bomb on the left side on the fly pattern, incomplete. And the marker down. Offensive man. No, it is deep. Big sail pass interference. They're not going to be able to hear their signals here, Jerry, and Schleser will take them back. They're going to spot the ball at the 47-yard line of the Buckeye. That is Gale trying the left side, and he goes nowhere. Both of them tell us. Schleister's 4 for 9 for 81. Elway 6 for 11 for 47. It is incomplete, intended down at the 30-yard line. Wide to the right side is Williams. Williams is being hawked on the play on double coverage. The completion to the 48-yard line. Right. The pitch going back to Gale. Gale finds an opening and rambles for about six. They did not have seven men on the line of scrimmage. That is the call. It'll be a first down, 15 to go for the Buckeyes. Williams to the right side. Sleister goes back to throw it. Has all day to throw it. It is complete down to the 32-yard line. Williams wide right. Anderson wide to the left. He looks at Anderson. He throws. It'll be intercepted and dropped. Intercepted and dropped. Wide to the right side, Williams. In motion, Langley. The handoff goes on a good draw play. It'll be close to the first down. It is the first down as Tim Spencer. Two tight ends on the right side. They go to the right side. Again, it's Spencer trying to wear him down. The score, 7-6, to six, Ohio State leading Stanford. Four and a half minutes to go. Sleister double pump throws. It is incomplete intended for Frank. They go to that three-man line again. Sleister looks to the left. He throws into the end zone. Touchdown! Anderson in the end zone. Cedric Anderson playing with an ankle sprain. Defended on the play by Kevin Baird. Call. Holding 10-yard penalty on the offense. It'll be a third down and halfway to San Jose for the first down. 18 <laughs> yards to go. Back to throw it. Sleister looks to the left, goes to the right, and he's hit and it's almost intercepted. It'll be a 45-yard field goal attempt. Atha will do it. The snap is down. The ball is in the air. It hooks to the left, but it just makes it. Ohio State adds three. They're on top now by four with four minutes and 14 seconds to go. Nils will try and get it back and take the lead as we go to the halftime break. Elway's going to throw it. Gets tremendous blocking and his receiver, the freshman, just the freshman. So it'll be second and ten. Elway with the I formation. The second man through has it. And trying to move outside. Going into this one, he leads the team in tackles. It'll be a third and seven situation for the Cardinals. Elway hits his secondary receiver. Look at that move. He's at the 30 and he's got the first down. Like dominoes, three Ohio State Buckeyes and a head and shoulder fake. A rollout pass option play and it's out of bounds. He threw it too far. I'm going to get it in writing though if he wants to play another sport because Ainge ran into that with the Toronto officials. He claims that they said he could play pro basketball. The quarterback Elway brings him out. It's third and nine. Elway looks right out over the middle. Almost intercepted. He threw it low on purpose. Is Garcia Lane attempting to get it into the wind. He hangs it very high. 
and a fair catch called for at the 41 yard line. The Cardinals hold a two to one edge over the men from the Big Ten. Sleister almost intercepted, but it is complete. Oh, he gets after people downfield. Langley goes to the right side, double teamed, and he's in motion. A handoff to Spencer, a huge hole up the middle. Seven tackles in the game and one sack, and he caused two fumbles. He had a win of the game. Good defensive work by Stanford. Gets an excellent snap. There is no rush virtually on him. He low line drives it, heads it for the corner. Excellent oh. thought, and out of bounds, it goes at the three. Good job. Looks like it's all for naught, though. We've got holding against Stanford. That's going to give Ohio State the football. 51 seconds. Sleister looks, play action pass coming up. Incomplete. A one on one coverage. Langley out wide to the right side. He looks to Langley. He throws out of the right flat. Langley's got it at the 20. Langley's down to the 18 yard line. It'll be a first and 10 for Ohio State. Schleister, 8 for 18, 137 yards. Elway. Out of bounds, did he? At the five yard line. He looks, he throws an alley oop pass into the end zone, incomplete. Number 42. The tailback, number 46, is Tim Spencer. Spencer blocks, Lisa throws in the end zone, touchdown! Touchdown, and he got the big tight end coming out of the left side to make the play. The big tight end, junior Brad Dwelly from Sandusky. Time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. First and 10 for Stanford. Elway trying to get some room, goes to the air, and he hits Nelson, who tries to tightrope the sideline and fights his way very close to the first down. Number 31, Darren Nelson. A total player called by Paul Wigan. A gain of one on the play, and he's got the first down, Rob Moore. It'll be a first down. Elway goes back, has again excellent protection. Hits Nelson at the 20, he goes for six, and down he goes. Harry wide to the right, out to the left side, Tolliver. Again, excellent protection. Bingo, he hits him. That is Nelson, he's got the first down. Where it's 17 to six in favor of Ohio State over the men in maroon, the Cardinals of Stanford. That is Darren Nelson trying to go. Gets to the line of scrimmage and down he goes. Oliver out wide to the right side. Double coverage on him there. They are still going single coverage on the freshman on the left. Now he tries to find room. Can't find it. Will he throw it out of bounds? No, oh, it is intercepted and then dropped. The offensive line for Stanford has done well. Now he has been unable to connect. Third down and eight yards to go. A little screen pass. Comes out here on the left side. The screen pass going over to number 22, Vincent White. Gets a good snap, gets excellent protection. Kicks it high. It's not particularly good and taken at the 43-yard line. Five minutes left to go, third quarter. And Ohio State, the favorite team, is in the lead. Sleister hits his man on the left side. Williams and out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Yet number 99 on defense is playing now. A lot of courage, that kid. Off the left side of the line, carrying it. Surfer, a motorcycler. What a game he had last week. Good hit that time by number 98. Anderson wide right, single coverage there. A blitz is on. Sleister back to throw, and he goes to the one-on-one -on -one coverage, and it is incomplete. On the right side, he has a big tight end, Dwelly. Out over the middle, all alone against the zone defense. He split it and he hits his man who stumbles after he catches it. With three and a half minutes to go, is driving first and 10. The ball on the 15 yard line and Ohio State sticks it on the ground. And Spencer knocks bodies halfway into the end zone. Joe Smith, Joe Lukens. Boy, they're tough in the middle. At the two yard line. Setback on the right side is 42, Craig Dunn. The setback on the left is Jimmy Gale. A marker down. Joe Lukens once again. It does look like it is against Ohio State, Jerry. Schleister is outplayed him. Williams one-on-one -on -one coverage on the right. Spencer goes through the middle, gets the play action. Touchdown. He faked everybody out. A great pass play, good play action. And again, Brad Dwelly scores the touchdown, his second of the afternoon. Morsey came in to try and protect on the play but could not do it. And Ohio State is threatening to blow this one wide open. Being the point after. Kicks it with authority, and he has it. With Nelson in motion, they start the play at the 20-yard line. Elway again with excellent protection. Being chased by the linebacker, a marker down at the 20. 
Out of bounds at the 26. Back illegally in motion on the offense. Still first down. Sean Gale, a sophomore. Garcia Lane, a sophomore. And Doug Hill, a sophomore. Elway, a flip pass out the Moore. Moore at the 15, a lot of white shirts, and he is really Derek at the 18. They've got Spencer Nelms, a freshman, number 54 in the game, a tackle. They've got two juniors at the inside linebacking spots. They're going to have some fun for the next few years. The hit made, or rather the pass completed to Chris Dressel. Throwing into the wind, throwing into the wind, John Elway, third down and seven yards to go. But receivers all over the field. He finally hits Nelson for the first time at the 40, up to the 43-yard line. And in 25 seconds, he'll have the wind at his back. Right now, Elway trying to get his club on the board, first and 10. He has gotten fairly good protection all day. He scrambles this time and throws a side armor to Nelson at the 45. He goes to the 50 and fights his way close to the first down. They're close to the first down. That is the end of the third. It's 24-6, Ohio State over Stanford. Elway, the quarterback, again, a lot of time, finds his man down at the 31-yard line, about 20 yards. So it'll be a first down. They spot the ball at the 30. Elway hits his man, Nelson. He goes to the 21-yard line. Wide to the right side is Tolliver. Looking into the end zone, he throws a comeback pattern. He has his man at the nine-yard line. Nickel defense in there right now. Five defensive backs, first and ten, the ball at the nine-yard line. Elway keeps it and falls down. He slipped. He was really Derek. Second and 13, the ball in the 13-yard line for Stanford. Fourth quarter of action. A completed pass to the man in motion, Chris Dressel. Two men out wide to the left. Mullins is there. He goes to the outside. Elway goes inside. Touchdown! Touchdown! A deflection on the play off the hand of the linebacker, Marcus Merrick. But a touchdown, Stanford. The setback left is Nelson. The setback right is Moore. Tolliver goes into the end zone on the right. He throws it in the end zone. It's right. It is dropped by Lunsinger, who had it. Constraints, we move ahead in the action. Well, as the great effort by the Stanford SID, Bob Rose. We thank you, gentlemen. Ten minutes and 52 seconds to go. Oh, has been a throw. Complete to Williams out of bounds. Ohio State on offense. They have a second and ten situation. They lead by 12 with 10.43 to go. Short yardage there. Williams wide to the right side, but double coverage on him. Out to the left side, single coverage. On the left side, they look toward him, and they haven't got him incomplete. Alders punting into the wind. Let's see what he does. He gets it away, and he gets it high. Nelson has it at the 45, and down he goes there. Spencer has gone 19 for 91, rushing for Ohio State. That is Nelson. Nelson gets up close to the first down. As a career member of the Cardinals, second and one. I'm going to throw it and throw it deep. Elway eludes one man. He's going to run it. He's at the 35, the 30. Gets a block, and he's out of bounds at the 25. First down, Stanford. And single coverage on him there. Out to the right side is Tolliver. Single coverage on him. It's right out over the middle, complete for about four yards. And an incomplete pass, second and 10. Tolliver to the right side. Play action pass coming up. Elway with a lot of pressure. Touchdown! Fantastic catch in the end zone. Unbelievable catch in the end zone. Fantastic by Tolliver. He went nine miles in the air. Well, he was an exceptional basketball player in high school, and you saw right there why he was so efficient. I tell you, that was outstanding coverage by our ESPN crew. Just an outstanding bit of coverage by the camera crew. The point after is good. We have a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. We pick up the action with Ohio State nursing a 24-19 lead in the middle of the fourth quarter. Schleister now with a pitch. Tries to go into the ground, but that Stanford defense is up sky high. We're going to have to split that bottle of Vitalis right down the middle. A broken play, and Schleister goes down wisely. A broken play. It's back. At the 12-yard line, third and 18, seven minutes and 43 seconds of football left. Sleister keeps it, gets up to the 18, and down he goes right now. 
Alders back to punt it, gets it barely away into the wind. It lands on the 50, and it's going to roll to about the 40-yard line, 38. Down it goes at the 38. That hurry-up offense, as we saw in the uh, first touchdown of the second half. 44-yard punt, first and 10 for Stanford. John Elway brings him out. Elway bootlegs it a bit and flips it out to Nelson, who finds the handle and gets nowhere. No gain as the Ohio State defense Elway. rises to the occasion, and Glenn Cobb hits him, and that might be the big story. Is he injured with that bad ankle? Outstanding baseball player. Decided to come back for another year of football, and here he is in a big ball game and a lot of pressure on him. He's got a lot of time, and he throws, and it is complete first down. Complete to Mullins. Patrell from Notre Dame High School. Elway was from Granada Hills High School. The kid goes back to throw. There's a holding penalty there. It is incomplete out of bounds anyway, but a penalty coming up now against Stanford with six minutes and five seconds left of the game. Looks like they got Dennis Engel. So it is Moran, Engel, McCauley, and Neal, and Deaton in the game also. It'll be a first down, long yardage to go. Complete for Mullins. It is not a first down, but he goes to the 47-yard line. 19-yard pass by Cottrell. It'll be a second down and seven situation. He gives off to Nelson, and Nelson is hit and spilled. Four minutes and 49 seconds to go. Third and seven, the ball on the 49-yard line of Ohio State. They lead by five. Rolling left, Cottrell is hit and spilled. A big play by Ohio State's door from St. Mary's. Ready to punt it away, and punt it away he does. Greg Top, it's high, down to the 20-yard line, and a fair catch call. Well, here is Sleister, 15 for 32 for 225 yards, and he gets to his little scoop back, his quick back on the right side. First down, the ball spotted on the 32. Stanford knows with a four-man line they're going to have to tighten. They tighten there, and the big man up the middle, Tim Spencer, with three minutes, 23 seconds to go. It'll be second down and eight. Sleister with it. Sleister looking. Sleister goes down wisely at the 33. Brad Dwelly back in the game. He's caught two touchdown passes. Pick number 81. Sleister goes back. They need the first down. The pass is complete at the 40. It'll be a first down for Ohio State. And a big, big play in. First down on the ball on the 49-yard line. Now they'll stick it on the ground and eat up that clock. And jumping over the line is Jimmy Gale. Gonna hear it again. Two minutes, two seconds left. At the line of scrimmage, hit. Grinding out four yards. Looking for the option here. Third down and four yards to go. Up the middle, the handoff and a bootleg by Schuster. Down he goes, he gets away. Down he goes, finally. Did he fumble the football? No, he hung on to it. Down, seven yards to go. He'll get it off, he does. It'll be caught at the 13 and wisely going out of bounds is Darren Nelson. Ohio State in white, 24, Stanford in maroon with the football they have 19. elway back to throw gets tremendous blocking complete to the 40-yard line practically he's down at the 37 into a one and two record they've dropped to ohio state nationally ranked they're undefeated again protection he gets it away with a flip pass out of the left side to moore moore runs out of bounds the man who's a great deep threat tolliver wide to the right double coverage there out to the left side, Mullins, double coverage on him. Out over the middle, complete and drop. The team with the ball trailing, 24 to 19. That is Stanford, trying to upset Ohio State. We're in the closing two minutes of the game. Elway with a lot of time, now he's gonna run it. No, he's gonna throw it. He goes for the bomb for Tolliver. Out of bounds. Tolliver to the right side, double coverage on him. This time up the middle they go to try and bring it to the left side. They get the first down on a fourth down and one. Split backs, they can run the circle from here. They're looking for a deep cross. Tolliver wide to the right. Mullins to the left side. Good blocking. A flip pass. Fumble, and it'll be recovered by Ohio State. That should be the ball game. They'll just get in close now and protect Sleister as they'll uh, sneak twice, and that'll do it. So Art Sleister, number 10. The co-captain is the Vitalis most valuable player. Michigan State 27 to 13 and winning this one by the score of 24 to 19.